Uh, we were struggling with three laps, and now we got six of the bastards. This is a six lap race? Yep, it's our first endurance. Fuck me. Are you sure you want to go right into this? <clears throat> It'll probably take us 12 minutes. Okay. You know, if you don't fuck up. Or if the game doesn't cheat. You saw some of those fucking races, they must have been at least going 400 kilometers per hour. Mm. That was weird how some of them managed to massively overtake you, even though you were going like 200 k's. I was going about 300 at one point, and one just steamrolled past me. Yeah. Whoa, Neil. Yeah. What's a new map? I think. Don't remember this. Um. Hmm. <sighs> oh. No, see, we've seen here. What hell was clinched after that? They're just kind of um. Shifting it about a bit. Mm -hmm. See, we've been here before. Yep. This part gets really dicey towards the end. That particular tunnel. Yeah. You know what? I think the shortcut there would have been. Yeah. Easy. We'll know that for the next five laps. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a very large race. Yeah. Or map, or whatever the mm -hmm. fuck. Circuit? Circuit? Yeah, race circuit. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this isn't a... Oof. Oof. I don't even... You barely see the car that's in front of you. Yeah. It is. You can see the smoke. Yeah, I... Okay, I... for a second I thought I could see him. And... That was a traffic cone. <laughs> You're going really fast, I can't... Did you not see those arrows? Yeah, I did, but the van was there. Oh. Everything's so blurry! Yeah. That's better. Yeah, that's, that's better. I think we need a bigger screen next time we play this. Yeah, well, I mean... It's the only TV I have. Mm -hmm. The other one gets used. This doesn't? You wanna... Shut up. Um... You wanna bring that big-ass TV you got bolted to your wall, go ahead. I'd love to if I could. Yeah, that thing would be a bitch to get down. Mm. But it's got full HD and everything. Mm. Is it actually bug bolted? Like, is it on a... Yeah, it's on a bracket. Yeah, yeah. I wanna upgrade to a 4K TV, but I'm willing to wait a while. It's yeah. not overly... Because that thing's bullied to high definition. Because we've got one that's like, got one of the best like ratings for like game consoles. Your one? In using? Yeah, the one I've got. Yeah. Because it doesn't have much screen tearing or anything. And it doesn't have that burn in that some things have. What do you mean? You know when you leave um, a screen on the same oh, thing too yeah. long? Oh yeah, that's the worst. That's, that sucks. LC I think it's the LCD ones that are the worst for that. Yeah, they are. Where you can actually burn an image and it'll be permanently there. Yeah. Awful. Um, OLEDs don't do that, do they? No, I don't think so. What uh, is an OLED? I don't know. I'll type it in. Okay. Google! When in doubt. Oh, LED. Organic light emitting diode. What? Ah, uh, so it's like pure color, I think. In which the emissive electroluminescent layer is a film of organic compound that emits light in response to an electric current. Huh. Hmm. This layer of organic semiconductor is situated between two electrodes. Typically, at least one of these electrodes is transparent. OLEDs are used to create digital displays in devices such as television screens, computer monitors, and you know, uh, a major area of research is the development of light OLED devices for use in solid state lighting applications. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, working principle advantages. Uh, lower cost in the future. OLEDs can be printed onto any suitable substrate by an inkjet printer or even by screen printing. 
theoretically making them cheaper to produce than LCD or plasma displays. Uh, lightweight and flexible plastic substrates. Wow, they're flexible. Well, that oh, that's probably what the curved ones are. Yeah. Shit. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Better picture quality. OLEDs enable a greater contrast ratio and wider viewing angle compared to LCDs because OLED pixels emit light directly. Furthermore, OLED pixel colors appear correct and unshifted even as the viewing angle approaches 90 degrees from the normal. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, like with all LCDs, if you like pitch them differently, they'll go different colors. Yeah. That's cool. Bit of power efficiency, lots of response time than an LCD. Disadvantages. Uh, lifespan. The biggest technical problem for OLEDs was the limited lifetime of the organic materials. After 1,000 hours, the blue luminance degraded by 10, 12%, red by 7%, and green by 8%. Okay. So they've got short shelf lives. Yeah. In particular, blue LEDs historically have had a lifetime of around 14,000 hours to half original brightness. That's not a lot. Hmm. Five years and eight hours. Oh, time. piss off! Things so, don't have gotten lost. Yeah. So they, I. Another last fucking lap too. Guess is about a four-hour lifespan. What? I mean, four-year lifespan. Yeah. Four-hour right. lifespan. No yeah, one buy that, that. No, that's wrong. No. Um, yeah. Four. Come on, last lap. I got this. Yep. Oh, my eyes. Oof. <laughs> Fuck me, a drunk. In five minutes left. Shit. Sure. Yeah, you drive fast. Did you just unlock another tournament? I think so. Hopefully it's a drag tournament. With no traffic. Huh. <laughs> just pure spud. Oh, my luck is probably a drift tournament. Mm. Oh, it's just a drift. drift. Just it's a drift. Not a no drags, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Five laps. One sprint. Or one drift. Four and a half minutes. Go on the sprint. Okay. Why? I don't know. That sounds like really, really... Okay. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, that song, was it by Red Foo or something? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I don't know what it's called. I just remember that line. Yeah. So, wiggle, well, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Anyway, it was like, you know how dog, um, dogs with duck tails? Like, the little stumps, like, wiggle. Yeah. Someone put a pair of glasses over to the, that song. Oh. Gosh. Whoa. Die, bitch. This... This guy. Not the fucking way. Wow. That other dude got wrecked. <laughs> Literally. Hooray. I covered that pretty well. Mm. Um, what happened? I don't know. You smeared on your nose. In ping pong. Kinda, yeah. Ping the pong. Ping the pong. Rock the pipe. Can you remember the game Crash Bash? Was it a Crash Bandicoot game? Yep. Nope. It was a party game. We should play that. Um, but the one really annoying game in it was this ping pong type... Was it a Mario Party knockoff? Sort of. Yeah. Well, everything party-wise is a Mario Party knockoff these days. Pretty much. Get that. I wonder if Mario Party was actually the first, like, Probably a rip game of that something. kind. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Like, that's happened before. Like, um, 
What would you say was the first, like, slasher horror film? Reset, you dick. So, right at the back. Thanks. Right. Slasher horror film. I would say, um, what's the one with Michael Myers in Halloween? Nope. What was it? The first slasher horror film hmm. based on a holiday was Black Christmas. It came out like a year or two beforehand. I found that out today from, um, the game theorists. Okay. No, the film theorists. I bet. What? Movies, not games. How'd that happen? I don't know. The game's trying to be a dick now. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, like the the whole um, the murderer was inside the house. You never see his face. He gets away with it. He's got some like fucked up thing. He calls people before he murders them. All in that movie. Okay. Like it, it, it started off the whole thing, and like no one remembers it. <laughs> it's crazy. And like I mean, I don't watch that genre, but like I I knew that Halloween started it off. You yeah. know, it's crazy. Crazy. Fucked up thing, what was the fucked up thing you had? What? What was the fucked up thing you supposed to had? Oh, like, um, the backstory of it was that, um, him and his sister mm. had murdered their baby brother when they were kids, and when their parents found out, he killed his parents. Okay. So now he's, like, deranged or something. But, like, apparently, like, it, like, it's, that's never, like, just spelled out for you. Yeah. In the movie, like you have to listen to the deranged things he says, and like a few like hints and clues spread out from the movie and pieces together yourself. Okay. Which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of movies of that genre these days, like they go for the whole mystery angle, and then by like the third act, they have explained exactly to you what's going on around the time. Okay. See you next Bye -bye. time. Bye.